Helldivers 2 reaction to the new announcement as of May 3rd. Something crazy has happened to Helldivers 2, and it's looking like this could be a massive hit to the game's success. Let's break down what's happening and why Steam players have written 14,000 negative reviews as of today about this announcement. The official Helldivers 2 page on Steam has announced that, quote, as of May 6th, all new Helldiver players on Steam will need to link their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players will see the mandatory login on May 30th, and if you do not comply by June 4th, you will no longer be able to play the game on Steam. Several of the community managers have attempted to explain why this is happening in response to the backlash on social media by saying this is to further protect the game's integrity and to prevent cheating or toxic behavior. As stated by Spitz, an active community manager on the official Discord, quote, It has always been our intention to require account linking through PSN. It's a security issue mainly. Linking accounts will allow us to more easily action bans on cheaters and hackers, and will generally make the game more secure for other players. However, another community manager, Twinbeard, who many of you probably know, has stated that, quote, First of all, it's Sony's decision, not ours. Secondly, we don't have all the details about region-related issues yet. We're chasing Sony to get more info. Now, this comment specifically has to do with people who cannot have a PSN account in their country, and the game essentially will become unplayable next month. But the sentiment that this is Sony's decision, not ours, is strange to say the least. They are essentially throwing Sony under the bus to the disgruntled player base. These two statements seem to conflict. The question is, what's really going on? The first possibility is that this is corporate greed at work. Helldivers 2 has become the 7th highest grossing game for PlayStation ever, due mostly to PC sales on Steam. So there is a huge amount of money and data that Sony wants access to that Steam is effectively acting as a firewall against. It has been reported that PSN and PS Plus numbers have been dropping over the last few years. Some speculate that this is due to the lackluster AAA games available as of late, for a lot of reasons that I don't have time to get into and due to economic downturn. Basically, people are cutting unnecessary expenses because shit is expensive these days, and if you're not playing the newest exclusive game, why pay for a membership? So, Sony sees this massive player base on Steam from the most popular and beloved game of 2024, and they want a piece of that pie. This, by default, would boost their numbers for PSN, and they could effectively be able to report an uptick in accounts to their investors. There's another avenue for Sony to have a massive data pool to be able to sell off to the highest bidder when they force Helldivers players to link their Steam accounts as well. This segues into one of the issues players have with cybersecurity. Sony does not have the best track record when it comes to protecting their data. A few years ago, Sony's internal data and emails were leaked because of a security breach. It wasn't the first time, and it most likely won't be the last. Some players do not want their accounts linked to a company that can't protect their sensitive information. Is Steam or Valve any more secure? We would have to do some serious investigation to find out, but nonetheless, that is a legitimate concern for some people. And to be fair, the sentiment from some gamers is, what's the big deal? You have to link your account to EA... You have to link your account to Ubisoft, and you have to link your account to Microsoft to play their games. And yes, that is fair and a true point. And for those who feel that way, by all means, continue spreading that managed democracy. Your data has most likely been sold and resold to countless companies, so you may as well play and have a little fun. The other possibility is that Arrowhead really wants to make banning people easier. At the moment, because the majority of the player base is on Steam, they have to jump through hoops and able to act on hacking or cheating. I personally would like to see the percentage of players who are hacking the game, that it would make it plausible for Arrowhead to create such an uproar and force Steam players to link to PlayStation. I can't imagine it's that many, so this idea of securing the game runs a bit hollow to me personally. Now, the reaction to some of the developers at Arrowhead to all of this has been a real kick to the nuts as well. I am the first to say that I really held the developers in high regard. Even some of the sarcastic remarks to angry players about buffs to enemies or nerfs to some overpowered weapons was hilarious to me. 
The quote, sounds like a skill issue, should be on a t-shirt as far as I'm concerned. But the reaction to today's announcement has been anything but funny. The CEO basically passed the buck to Sony by saying in a tweet, Hey everyone, in regards to account linking and questions there too, please contact PlayStation Support. Basically saying, tough shit, here's an email service from Sony's customer support, I have no answers for you. Another strange reaction to a player on Discord who said, quote, This will effectively kill the game on Steam. Backpedal or you'll lose your player base. The community manager, Spitz, replied, I thought you were refunding and leaving? Question mark. Yeah. That one reaction may have just cost the developers of this game any and all goodwill they have gained over the past couple of months. They have also turned the Helldivers 2 subreddit to private, so nobody can post in there either. They are in full crisis mode and digging an even deeper hole for themselves. Now, I love this game, and I genuinely hope that something happens that fixes and or alleviates the stress that is happening right now if they say, look, if you don't want to sign up for PlayStation, you'll only be able to play with other Steam players. Okay, fair enough. No more crossplay. I'm okay with that. 90% of the people that I play with are on PC as it is anyway. The other possibility is that they backpedal completely and Sony takes their finger out of the pie and, well, that's okay too. We'll see what happens. We will stay up to date with this as much as possible. Do not forget to comment your thoughts on this situation, and we will be back on Tuesday to cover the rest of the weekend and see where the situation lands. If this doesn't affect you, and you're going to continue to play this amazing game, more power to you. If you're one of the many players who are actively against being forced to sign up for PlayStation and are expecting to never play the game again, let's hope for the best and see if a compromise can be made. This has been Assault Divers Emergency Broadcast. Have a good day.